ship so that we can check out a truck. That's right guys, we are still on the hunt looking for something right now that kind of fits the bill and that we might possibly want to pull the trigger on and make a purchase for. I took a trip down to Pennsylvania a couple weeks ago. I do have some footage from that that I'm planning on possibly making a video for. That whole situation, um, it really was, uh, it wasn't good. It was a bad situation, left a bad taste in my mouth about the place that I went to to visit and check out the trucks at. Uh, if you guys are interested in seeing a video on that, then let me know in the comment section and I will certainly put that video together and put it up on the channel so you guys can check it out and see what we went to look at. But right now we are kind of starting from ground zero and starting the hunt all over again. And we are en route, like I said, to another dealership that is much closer to my house and we are probably about 20 minutes away from there. So we're gonna just focus on the road and getting there and I will catch up with you guys as soon as we get there and we'll take a look at the truck that's waiting for us. But otherwise, welcome back to the channel guys with a brand new video. Thank you guys so much for taking some time out of your day to check out this video and see what's been going on. So what we are looking at right now is a 2008 6.7 liter Cummins. Oh, and I gotta say, this truck is beautiful. It is very, very clean in here. Spotless, immaculate, my guess is that an older gentleman owned this truck, maybe used it to pull a camper or something along those lines, and uh, he ended up trading it in on something new. Or he passed away, unfortunately, if that is the case, that's sad. Uh, and then his family had the truck sitting around and traded it in on something different. I don't know the whole story, but this is definitely a single owner truck and it is uh, it shows. It's very, very nice. I'm clearly out with it right now on a test drive just to make sure it feels good going down the road. It shifts firm and everything is good. It all checks out. It rides pretty decent considering it's a 3500 compared to Gary's 3500, which kind of slams you all over when you're going down the road and it's not loaded down with anything. This thing rides like a dream compared to Gary's truck uh, and it feels good. The brakes are good. It shifts nice and firm and when it's supposed to, but there's a couple things that need to be straightened out on it. One of them is the check engine light and the code reader was mentioning something about the turbo and pressure. So I don't know if there's a boost leak or a sensor bed somewhere underneath the hood. Uh, but they told me obviously they would run it through the service center. They haven't had it uh, long enough to run it through the service center and give it a detail and make sure that everything checks out on it. So clearly a couple things that would need to be looked over. I'm pulling back into the place right now. So I'm going to go handle business and I'll catch up with you guys afterwards on the way home or when I get home. All right, guys, I have made it back home to the house and here is the deal. I'm going to be 100% open and raw with you guys and just give you my complete thoughts and opinions on the truck that we just went to look at. First off, it is a 2008 3500 6.7 liter Cummins and it is a one owner truck. An elderly gentleman who owned it previously apparently has lost his license. This is what the dealership is telling me. He lost his license, the truck was just sitting there and the family decided to take it to this dealership and have them buy it off of them 
so that they could collect the money from it and not just have this truck sitting around doing nothing. When I first saw this truck and contacted the dealer about it, I had the thought of it being an older guy's truck. Just because of the photos that I saw, it looked pretty clean and the mileage on the truck is significantly low for the age of the truck. And I had said to Gary, if I had to guess, I would be guessing that this was an older guy who owned it, single owner truck, and he just didn't drive it that much, or he may have passed away and the family didn't have a use for the truck, therefore they traded it in or sold it to the dealership. So I was pretty spot on with my assumption in that because, well, it was an older guy who owned it and unfortunately he can't drive it and the family didn't want it sitting around. So we have an opportunity right now to potentially pick up this 2008 3500 with the 67 Cummins in it for what I believe to be a pretty fair price, all things considered. I initially started looking at trucks in a lower price range, but if we paid a little bit extra to maybe acquire this truck, this thing could be a part of the channel for a long time to come. It is cleaner than most southern trucks that I have been looking at online or even drove down to Pennsylvania to look at a couple weeks ago. To find a truck this clean, I would legitimately have to go to like North Carolina or further south and you just, you don't come across trucks that are in this type of condition up here in New York. I'm not going to tell you all the little details and specs about it because I'm still up in the air as to what I want to do right now so we're gonna think about this for the next couple days and then we're gonna be back in contact with the dealership and let them know either way whether we want to make a move on this truck I definitely am curious to see your guys thoughts and hear what you guys have to say so be sure to leave a comment down below in the comment section if you guys want to see some pretty clean 6 7 3rd gen content here on the channel certainly drop that comment down below and let me know I want to I want to take your guys thoughts and opinions into consideration now I do have other news that I need to share with you guys and catch you up to speed on but we're gonna do all that stuff in other videos because there's quite honestly a lot that I have to say or a lot that I could talk about and I don't want to stretch out videos and make them go any longer than they need to so we'll have some other videos coming up here in the in the near future hopefully some time soon where I will share some other big news with you guys and also there are some things that I have in the garage right now three things in particular that I want to do giveaways with I'm thinking uh, so if you guys would like to do some giveaways with some relatively larger items some bigger items definitely the biggest giveaways that I would have ever done here on the channel to date if you guys want to do some giveaways then again let me know down below in the comment section if you want to see a new truck on the channel, again, let me know down in the comment section. And if you guys would like to see some merch come to the channel, let me know down below in the comment section. I still have all the key tags, the blue collar built key tags that I ordered, I think back in the beginning of summer. We still have all of those and we need to get those things up and ready for you guys so I can offer those to you for anybody who would want to rep some blue collar pride and have a blue collar built key tag on their keys. So if you guys want those blue collar built key tags made available to you guys and some other other stuff t-shirts I do have some good ideas and some funny things I think already planned out in my head as far as t-shirts go if you guys want that stuff made available to you and you want me to move forward on that and get that stuff made then let me know down below in the comment section for now I'm gonna get inside and start to edit this video so I can get it up on the channel for you guys and then I'm gonna do some hardcore thinking on this 0867 liter so that I can hopefully have a decision made come Monday morning and I will of course keep you guys up to speed and in the loop as to what I decide to do whether I go for it or I don't go for it you guys will you'll know soon enough don't forget to check out those links down below in the video description they really help the channel out in making more content for you guys and they don't cost you any extra money to use them they'll give you good parts and things like that for your truck hit that subscribe button and that like button on your way out turn on those post notifications if you are subscribed so you don't miss any of the updates that I'm gonna have coming to you guys here in the very near future and I will see you guys again soon with another new video. Peace.